Yeah, hello YouTube. Uh, this morning I just wanted to show you my troubleshooting on the, these two dead cells. So I've uh, soldered uh, these three three little jumpers to the the cell connections on the BMS board, and so I've got my lab supply uh, hooked up to the negative of cell two, and then to the positive of cell 2 and then on the power supply I've got it set up right now you can see it's at about a tenth of an amp current limited and if I disconnect the a lead it it's set to uh, like 4.2 volts tenth of an amp and this cell if I leave it like that for a while it gets up to about a half a volt like you can see but as soon as I disconnect it the voltage starts dropping back towards zero and then I'll show you the second cell here in a minute okay now I've moved the leads over so I'm on the negative of the third cell and the positive of the third cell this one I've hooked up and if you leave this one you get zero volts at a tenth of an amp and it'll just stay at zero uh, for a long time that's pretty much a dead short so based on that uh, I'm assuming cell 3 here is completely shot and then cell 2 is uh, pretty much gone too so I've got two new Samsung 18650 cells on order and when they get here I'll try uh, tearing this pack apart and see if I can cut these two cells out of the um, battery pack wiring and get two new cells in there and see if we can bring this one back to life. I will update you when uh, when I get those cells in and we'll see what it takes to uh, tear some of the old cells out of here and put some new ones in uh, the the cells are seem to be spot welded there's four spot welds per tab so uh, we'll have to deal with that uh, so be sure to stay tuned to this channel uh, I'll post an update when I get those uh, cells in and as always, if you have uh, questions, use the comment section below, and be sure to rate and share this video, and subscribe to the channel, and you'll be informed when there's an updated video. Thanks for watching.